Jen Springer here of jenspringer.com and let's talk about anxiety. And I'm gonna shed some light on anxiety when I talk to my clients. I am not a psychotherapist. I do not do any of that type of stuff. I work with the physical body. And there are questions, when I hear somebody says they have anxiety, I've got a very specific question that I ask them. But first, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm always coming out with new videos. These are my hot topics like anxiety, adrenals, thyroid, candida, mold. You know, I love talking about this stuff because there's a lot of junk out there that makes it really complicated and then leaves you more frightened and hopeless than you were before. And you can get through all of it, all right? So I wanted to say that. Second thing, or the second thing I really wanna to talk to you about here is um, what are some of the steps to know how to handle these types of anxiety. So I'm not gonna talk from a clinical perspective of the, there's a big book that talks about all the mental illnesses. That is not what I do. Like I said, I do physical body. So there's two types of anxiety. There is the anxiety in which you feel, um, it, you know, intense or um, worried or pining or excited or nervous about an event or a situation. You know, I'm anxious about tomorrow, I can't wait, or I've really been anxious thinking about that exam I have. You know, it's more of a mental worry, right? It's emotional, it comes and it goes. It's not taking over and hijacking your brain. All right, you know, it's just like, oh, I feel anxious because I'm gonna be meeting with that guy that I'm my first date, right? So that, does that make sense? Now, the second type of anxiety is this. It's called the weirds. I call it the weirds. So when I'm talking to my clients and they say they have anxiety, I say this. Do you have the anxiety, like I just said, or do you have the weirds? Like you're sitting there doing nothing and all of a sudden your brain is hijacked and you're thinking crazy thoughts or you become scared or you become paranoid or panic attack or something like that. Like you totally feel cuckoo. That's the second type. That is typically, and I'm not, a, like I said, not a psychotherapist. This is not medical advice. I'm not diagnosing or prescribing you. That is typically related to something physical. Something physical is going on in the body. It could be hormones. It could be thyroid. I mean, sex hormones could be thyroid. Could be some type of toxicity. Could be an excess in something, like a some type of toxin or even a nutrient in the body. There's a lot of reasons, and I'm not going to really get into that. But I really want to talk to you and clarify. There are two types of anxiety. Anxiety. And you know, what do you start to do about them? Well, the first part, like the, the one that's emotional based, I can't really help you out there <laughs> because that's not my area of specialty. But what I would recommend is to find, you know, somebody to work with that can help you manage that and, um, you know, some mindfulness, meditation, breathing, yoga, relaxation exercises. That really helps with that. Now, when it comes to the second type of anxiety, the weirds, um, I highly recommend you get with a practitioner that can really help you dig into finding the root cause because the root cause is typically something biological, especially if you're the kind of person who is calm and cool as a cucumber your whole life and all of a sudden you feel like you're going to jump out of your skin for no reason then please find a practitioner who specializes in functional medicine, functional nutrition, maybe a naturopath, a chiropractor, an osteopath, an MD, somebody, even a nurse practitioner who is versed in hormones, um, who is versed in knowing how the neurotransmitters work in your body, can help you possibly detox, because this is something that is not temporary, or, you know, that is temporary if you handle it. But some of you, it could get worse and worse over time, and you you're thinking, what's wrong with me? I'm not worried. I'm not a worried type of person. How come I feel crazy? Um, it's because of something happening biologically in your body. Um, there are excellent people who have written books on this topic. Joan Matthews Larson, Larson wrote a book called um, uh, Depression Free Naturally. It talks a lot about this. Um, there are I, behind me, behind this uh, curtain right here, <laughs> my backdrop, I've got like a whole list of books even down there. The East Connection, Live Right. Um, adrenal fatigue, uh, let's see, there's oh, brain allergies, food and mood, healing, depression and, and bipolar without drugs. <laughs> like, there's all my stuff over there. I could go on about all my books. And I, not that you care, but um, all I have to tell you is please get help with somebody that can help you and you can get through this. Um, you're not crazy. You just have to have somebody help guide you through um, 
that process okay so again this is jen springer of jenspringer.com make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you need to reach out to me just follow the link below to my blog and you can message me there so signing off we'll catch you guys soon and be well